extended one of them a little bit because what is this into?
This is the first part of the A major scale. So it's just one string down. Yeah, yeah, but see what happens when you finish the E major scale? You go. And then the next part is. similar but it's different because and then I go and I'm tempted to go to here because if I was doing this it would go so that's where the difference is Yeah, it's the third. It's called thirds and fourths. Okay. Um, I've shown you how if you press down, it's like it's called thirds and fourths, but for some reason it it should be called fifths and fourths. Yeah, so, the the. Uh, I told you about that. How can you ever charge it itself? Yeah, but I didn't really understand at the time. My my teacher taught me. But yeah, you 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 did you definitely did teach me you you, you taught me, but I, I I wasn't able to do it. I I broke a lot of strings. I was also a lot more of a noob, anyways. No. Nope. <laughs> so it goes. See. You don't need to show me this. I know this. Yeah. No, I have a feeling that you're extremely gifted and talented, and you're not playing with me because I'm not good enough yet. No. Well, no, I, I gave you that keyboard the other day, and you started playing this weird X-Files thing, and I was like, whoa, that's like an actual... Oh, because I know how to play the X-Files theme. <laughs> that is, that and Deck the Halls are, are the two things I can, and Heart and Soul. Yes. Three things. I can play three things on keyboard. Can you teach me hard and soul? Uh, if I can remember it. It's like... Da, da, da. But do you know both sides? No, I only know the, the melody side. Oh, okay. So... I, I, know, I, I know how it goes. Are you busy right now? I did not want to do anything on camera. No, nothing on camera. I do not want to, no, no. No, but I just, if you look in some book, I don't even know where the book is. 
I don't know why I'm filming my bum. Because you have such a cute, tiny little small bum, you see? Yes, it's a small bum. Oh, here it is. Can you just see if it's in there? is correct. You also know I don't know how to read music, so if it's un if it's in here on another name, no, I don't know. I don't know how to use a different name. So I showed you the difference between E major and A major. Mm -hmm. So this is a uh, G major. And then this is C major. <laughs> they sound very similar to me. No, but look at the, so six fret. Or six swing. Fifth swing. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And I think they sound the same too. They sound similar. I wouldn't say the same. They all they all kind of sound the same. Well, yeah, they do because they sound like a bunch of notes getting higher. Yeah, but and they overlap, and so there are many of the same notes in them. I think. I don't think. But like for this, like I guess you could call that a scale, but it, that's like, this is just the progression of each note, like if it were on the keyboard, it would be white key, black key, white key, black key, white key, white key, black key, you know? That's what this would, that's what. It doesn't have a, no, no, what that would be is all the white keys, no black keys. No, no, uh, okay, so, really? what, so watch this, so, this is, this is, uh, the C major chord. C, C flat, or I don't know. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, basically, it goes um, E F F sharp G. But, but I'm, I'm sorry, I did not understand. What I'm saying is there are sharps and flats on this. Oh no, I know, but I, I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that just going along one string, I think is the, maybe not the exact musical equivalent, but like basically the equivalent of only playing the white keys. And I think that's why the scales that you're playing me that are actually scales involve so many other strings. But what I'm saying, if you just go along here, you're going to hit the black keys as well. Okay. Okay. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Actually, the first time I heard about YouTube, I was in KMH. Really? And someone who... I, I don't know why... We, were, I, we must have been together. No, oh. it was before that. It, it was before... It was it, it was probably at least a year before I signed up. Uh, for, no, but YouTube didn't exist when we started going out. No, we actually started going out like the During same year. During the time that's like beginning to exist? No, YouTube started in 2005, from what I know. It was then bought by Google. We didn't start until 2008. And I signed up for YouTube in 2008. Okay. And why did we always use that, uh, what do you call it, the, the... Oh, one of those streaming things for the music? Yeah. Um... I don't know, YouTube has changed over the years. And yeah, also, I was, not, I was not as aware of everything. <laughs> of anything. Uh, and, and it, <laughs> not and you, it, I mean, I mean both of us. But my, my story was that when I first heard about YouTube, I was at KMH, and uh, this guy with the guitar came in. And I don't know if someone asked him if he was Christian, or he just was like, hey, I'm Christian, I'm Christian and I'm helping you. Okay. <laughs> but it, for, it, I think it was somehow important that he was Christian and he was like leading a music class in KMH. Okay, well, good for him. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I forgot what my point was. I don't know, he just sounds like an asshole. <laughs> no, he was a really nice guy. Um, but I think, 
because he was Christian and I was like, I'm not signing up for YouTube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I assumed it was like, you know. Bad thought. Yeah. And Christians.
You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I had Jessica Grep too. Um, also, your mom says, um, if there are selling rosemary when we are out like plants, yeah, we should buy more rosemary. Okay. <laughs> For me, I'd give. I think that's crazy. I'm talking to the camera in such a way. I love you. <laughs> 